What's going on you guys? My name is Brobson and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a mount called the Death Tusk Felbor in the World of Warcraft. This is an amazing looking armored boar mount and you can see it featured on screen now. According to the World of Warcrafts, at the time of upload of this video, only 0.6% of active players have this mount, making it an extremely rare mount and one that I really enjoy having completed. The Death Tusk Felbor can be purchased from the Hand of the Prophet Quartermaster in your faction's quest hub in Sanan Jungle. It costs 2,000 gold and also requires you to earn Exalted Reputation with the Hand of the Prophet faction before you can buy it. In order to gain reputation with the Hand of the Prophet, you must first get a level 100 tune with a level 3 garrison and do the introductory quests in Tanan Jungle to build your faction hub and unlock the Hand of the Prophet faction. Getting from Neutral to Exalted Reputation requires 42,000 total reputation, and unlike most factions in World of Warcraft, there's no way to farm reputation with this one. You can only gain reputation with the Hand of the Prophet through daily quests and by a rare drop called the Medallion of the Legion, but first we'll cover the daily quests. Each day when you first log in, you'll have a daily quest for the Hand of the Prophet at your faction's hub in Tanan Jungle. The quest is located at the Tanan planning map, which is inside the main building. This quest will require you to complete a specific one of the seven Apexus Crystal Zones scattered throughout the Tanan Jungle. The seven different zones are located on screen now, and once you pick up the quest, you should head to the zone which you've been assigned to complete. When you first enter the Apexus Zone, a bar will appear on your screen at 0%. Killing mobs and destroying things within the area will begin to raise your bar towards 100%, and all you need to do to complete the quest is continue killing mobs and destroying things until the bar reaches 100%. At this point, the quest will be complete and you'll need to go back to your faction hub to turn it in. When you turn in the first daily quest, you'll be awarded with 500 reputation for the Hand of the Prophet faction, and you'll unlock the second and third dailies. The second daily quest is called Pressing the Attack, and it simply requires you to complete any two of the remaining six Apexus Crystal Zones in Tanan Jungle. Simply pick your favorite two remaining Apexus Zones, go to them, and fill up the bars there to complete the quest, just like you did in the first quest. The third daily quest will require you to complete a small objective within one of the Apexus zones, like killing a certain number of a specific mob, looting certain items from those mobs, or simply collecting items from the ground of the zone. These objectives will easily be completed during the time it takes to fill up the bar of that zone from 0 to 100%, so you may want to use the zone from this quest as one of your Apexus zones for the previous quest, that way you can knock them both out at the same time, which saves some total time each day. Once you complete the second and third daily quests, you can return to your faction hub to turn them in. Each of these quests will award you with 250 reputation with the Hand of the Prophet. The final daily quest is given by an NPC just outside the main building in your faction hub. This NPC only gives one daily quest each day, and it can be a quest for any of the Tanan Jungle factions, so you may not get a Hand of the Prophet faction quest each day. The two quests she gives that will award reputation for the Hand of the Prophet are called Bringing Down the Horde and Demon Slayer of Tanan. Bringing down the Horde requires you to kill 25 Iron Horde Orcs in Tanan Jungle. These are scattered all throughout Tanan, so simply find them, kill them, and then return to turn in the quest. Demon Slayer of Tanan similarly requires you to kill 20 Demons in Tanan Jungle. Demons are also scattered all throughout the map, so just find them, kill them, and return to turn in the quest. Completing this daily quest will award you with 250 reputation for Hand of the Prophet. If you complete all four of these daily quests each day, then you'll receive 1,250 total reputation per day with the Hand of the Prophet faction. If your fourth quest is for a different faction, then you'll only receive 1,000 reputation per day with the Hand of the Prophet. This means that it'll take between 34 to 42 days of completing daily quests every single day to go from neutral to exalted reputation, depending on your luck with the fourth quest. The only other way to gain reputation with this faction is to find an item called the Medallion of the Legion. This item is dropped by four different rare elite mobs in Tanan Jungle. The mobs that drop it are named Terror Fist, Vengeance, Doom Roller, and Death Talon, and their spawn locations are shown on screen now. You can only get loot from killing these mobs once each day, and they require teams to kill. Each mob has about a 5% chance of dropping the medallion. This medallion will instantly give you 1,000 reputation with all factions in Tanan Jungle, so if you get lucky enough to find one, it's basically the equivalent of one full day of daily quests. Once you finally reach Exalted Reputation with the Hand of the Prophet faction, in addition to hating Apex's Crystal Zones, you'll now finally be able to buy the Death Tusk Felbor mount. Head to your faction hub and speak with the Hand of the Prophet Quartermaster, and you can purchase this mount for 2,000 gold. That's pretty much it for this guide, guys. Good luck going out there and getting yourself the Death Tusk Felbor. Remember to leave a like or dislike on the video according to what you thought, and also leave a comment with your feedback so my future guides can be more tailored to what you guys want. 
Check out the description of this video to get a link to my live stream channel to watch me play live, and also my mount guide playlist so you can get a link to my other guides on how to get cool mounts in WoW. Make sure to subscribe for future content if you enjoyed it, and thanks a lot for watching. I hope to see you guys in another video.